All right, Olympians, what you're looking at is a drawing of a pumpkin with lots and lots of polka dots, uh, lots of repetition. And I'm going to show you how to draw this pumpkin today. This pumpkin is inspired by our artists for this unit, Yayoi Kosuma. I remember she's a Japanese artist. And we looked at one of her um, mirrored infinity rooms last week. But she's also famous for her pumpkins. She began drawing these pumpkins as a child in uh, pre-war Japan. And in Japan, her family owned a plant nursery and they grew a lot of pumpkins. So that's where this inspiration comes from. Now, the one you're looking at here is a larger than life sculpture of a pumpkin, but she does these in many forms. She does drawings, paintings, sculptures, and yes, she's also done an infinity room filled with pumpkins. Remember the infinity rooms are the little rooms that you walk, you can walk into and they have mirrors on the ceiling, on the walls and the floors. And it just looks like the space goes on forever and ever. So let me show you how to draw one of these. If you'd like to draw one for your um, art assignment this week, remember you don't have to, um, you can do any object that you like covered in shapes. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper, um, something to draw with. So I have some markers, I have a Sharpie and a pencil. Okay. So to draw a pumpkin, you really only need to use a couple simple shapes. So the first shape I'm going to start with is an oval. This, and this is going to be the part of the pumpkin that's closest to me. And then I'm just going to add some curved lines. That's just going to build out the sides of the pumpkins. And I'm going to keep this symmetrical. So I'm going to do two curved lines on the left and two on the right. Then I'm going to add a stem up here by drawing a kind of rectangular shape. <clears throat> then um, to add the shapes in this example, I kind of copied what she does. And of course I added the circles or the polka dots, but you can really add any kind of shapes you want. You can add a variety of shapes. I think the example on the slideshow has lots of different shapes, but I'll just do the circles in here and I'm not going to draw them all, but you just pick a shape and repeat it. And you can do the same shape in each section. Um, or you can do different shapes in each section, whatever you'd like to do. So I'm going to start filling this up with lots and lots of circles. And then from here, I would add my color after I finished creating all the shapes and it would be pretty much finished. So yeah, if you'd like to try one of these this week, um, I'd love to see it. Thanks.